This moment of funny is brought to you by 2011 Thurber Prize finalist for his hilarious New York Times bestselling book, Sleepwalk With Me, Mr. Mike Birbiglia. He's a comedian, storyteller, director, and actor uh, who has performed all over the world. His most recent show, The New One, ran for 99 shows at the Court Theater. Uh, without further ado, uh, welcome, Mike Birbiglia. Let's do the Thurber 13. All right. Uh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> all right. Number one, what is your favorite word? Are these timed? Nope. Take your time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, thanks. What is your least favorite word? It would be like Grinch or something like that. Name one thing on your bucket list. I think about this a lot because my new show is all about mortality mm -hmm. and, and hitting middle age and, and thinking about uh, being on, on top of the mountain and looking around and saying, oh, there's natural causes. Um, the <laughs> one thing on my bucket list is... Um, spending a meaningful amount of time in other parts of the world than than america favorite book that you read as a kid all the roll doll books were the ones that really stuck with me uh, particularly the witches i thought that they it was real like i just thought it was nonfiction. <laughs> what sound do you love i love the sound of my wife jen's voice what smell do you hate that first 20 feet of space at, in every Home Depot where it's like weed and insect repellent. And you're like, why, why is there that much weed and insect repellent that I can smell it with this much ventilation in the building? Never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Who is your favorite humorist? David Sedaris was the most seminal humorist and writer who I've ever um, read. I remember reading his stuff when I was in high school and college and, and sort of seeing myself in it and hearing myself in it in, in this way that, um, and laughing. And, and the combination of all of those elements for me was such an epiphany. If you were sent to a deserted island, what would be one thing that you couldn't live without? You'd have to take it with you. I think pizza ingredients. Okay. What folly of humanity do you find the funniest? The inability to learn from our own history. This next one, and remember Thurber is listening, cats or dogs? Oh, um, wow. I have to go dogs. Okay, I so you mean, are... You're a cat in the background. Here, my cat, Matthew, <laughs> who's like complaining as I say this. <laughs> when they, he'll eat your face later. The cat exactly. definitely will. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, so you're a Thurber fan. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a favorite Thurber story, anecdote, cartoon? Uh, I know you visited the house. I, lo I love the house. I, um, my favorite thing about the house, I always tell this to people, is it's um, as opposed to things that are sort of typical like mega museums, mm -hmm. I find it to be almost like an experiential um, uh stepping into the life of someone from the past mm -hmm. and it's very cozy and it's very well maintained in this way where you feel like almost a fly in the wall of uh this you know this great uh artist's life and work combined into one kind of experience and so it almost feels like a a little time capsule of the past and so you feel like you're jumping into time and then seeing some of the original drawings uh is it really sort of for me it sort of places me um almost in the experience of when he drew them because you know, it's the original pencil or it's the original pen or, or marker or whatever it was done with. It gave me a lot of inspiration when I was when I was in Columbus to to sort of write more and do more. Because also you get the sense of um, the sheer uh, the sheer uh, amount of writing he did and drawing he did. You just yeah. it sort of makes your head explode because you go like when when would one have time to do this much work? And um, 
In terms of like a favorite, I mean, there's so many favorites. I think Walter Mitty appeals to me because, you know, writers, I think we're all sort of daydreamers to some degree. And, and so, in so, in so many ways, it's the metaphor for writing, which is to say that you see something mundane and it becomes something else and that's what you write down. And so I feel like that, that one always, I think, appeals to writers. Well, it's funny that you say that because the next question is, what is your Walter Mittyest fantasy? I feel like whenever I'm at the ocean, whenever I'm at the beach, I have this sense of like, what if I just kept swimming out? What would happen? You know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> it's sort of just like, I, that, to me, that's what the, the daydreaming of it mm -hmm. all is, is sort of like, of thinking like, what happens if, you know, you continue doing this thing that's very finite, but you do it to uh, uh, to an infinite degree? To the max. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I like that. Uh, okay, last question. If comedy heaven exists, who do you want to greet you at the door? I'd almost want to... Uh, it to be uh, Mark Twain because I feel like I'd annoy him with so many questions and I would just, I would want to know so many things about what's true and what's mm -hmm. not true. Cause I feel like so much of Twain is lore mm -hmm. and, and I would, you know, and I would, I would just say, you know, you know, did you really used to just give monologues at bars at random and things like that? You know, like, like what is true here? Yeah. Oh, that's great. You can get to the bottom of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Mike Birbiglia, thank you so much um, for spending a little bit of time with us. Um, before we go, is there anything you want to share about what you've got coming up, what you've got going on? Well, the, the two things that, um, uh, you know, I I did the new one. I wrote the new one book, which came out in June and comes out in paperback in the fall, fall, fall 21, which is what we're in right now. And then the next show is that I'm, I'm touring uh, a version of right now is going to be called The Old Man and the Pool. And it is uh, all, all about uh, sort of middle age and mortality and, and, and thinking about the big questions. So I, 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 I hope to make Thurber proud with that. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, well, thank you so, so much. Um, and um, good luck with all of that.